You stood outside in the freezing cold, shivering uncontrollably because you would rather be out there than surrounded by the evil men in there. You was being overwhelmed on your thoughts. They weren't making your decision any easier. You can't hurt Felix. You don't want to hurt him like the way Jungkook hurt you. So for that reason, you are choosing Felix. Jungkook is toxic. He's broken and damaged, impulsive and reckless, selfish and cruel. You don't even have one bad thing to say about Felix. He is a good guy. He is the right guy and he is the safe option. You stared up at the stars that shine so brightly above you. The stars were so beautiful. Nights like these made you want to live. You felt cold air move in and out of your lungs. It felt almost therapeutic to appreciate for just a moment that you was alive. It's a lot. Everything's a lot. Then without warning, you felt someone grab the back of your neck roughly. The white purse. Someone hissed, making your heart pound. You saw your father's hand and you immediately whimpered in pain. You thought you had ex- escaped him. Please father, just leave me alone. You spoke quietly, pleading with him to go away. Pathetic little shit, you went missing for days. You had your brother's worried sick. He snarled, slapping you over the back of the head. It left a harsh sting behind. You stayed tense with his grip still on your neck. Jungkook, you whispered, wanting him to come and save you. What did you say? Your father groaned. Nothing, you uttered while covering from his touch. Your mom is so upset about this. I guess I'll just have to set you straight. He stated with an evil grin. He loved the power that he had over you. It's sad that you have to beat up a girl to feel power. You finally snapped. You took... You took so much abuse and torture from him that you have finally had enough. You are a f-shit father. I have always hated you. You grow ripping yourself from his grip. I'm done being you are punching back. Do you hear me? And I'm tra- tired of needing someone else to save me. You raised your voice as you stood in front of him. Shut up, you slut, he spat as he punched you across the face, making you stumble backwards in your heels. You are your own downfall, you hissed at him as you felt the blood trickle down from your nose. You swung at your father out of anger, but he caught your wrist. He did exactly as you thought he would. You swung your opposite leg into the air, kicking him in the side of the wrist. You knew that he had previously been sick with lung infection. He groaned painfully, letting out a cough. I have had enough of, or enough of you treating me like shit. You yelled while you punched him as hard as hard as you could. And abusing me. You punched him again. I am not a shit daughter. You are just a bad father. You punched him one last time, causing him to fall to his knees. He groaned in pain as he knelt on the ground. You was waiting loudly, your chest falling and rising. It felt so good to finally be able to hit him. But I would like to thank you for making me strong, stronger than you anyway. You shrugged, about to walk away, but he grabbed your leg, causing you to trip and fall. He knew your heels made you unstable. He kept his filthy hand on your leg and pulled you back to him before grabbing your arms and forcing them together. He began repeatedly throwing punches at you with his free hand. To be honest, you couldn't really feel anything. You was just finally able to accept all the years of torment and abuse because you knew he was a coward. You tried relentlessly to break free from his grip, realizing he was probably going to kill you if you don't do something fast. You f worthless piece of shit, your father snarled angrily taking out a knife from his pocket. This was it. This is how you die. You ran it along your body. You waited for it to stop. You was tired of fighting. 
yet it never happened. Your father was ripped off of you and thrown back onto the concrete. It was Shankar and he looked furious. You could... You could practically see the stream coming out of his nose. Fear filled your father's face. I thought you didn't care about her. Your father tried to crawl away from Jungkook. No, I care about her too much. Jungkook took the knife from your father and glanced back at you for approval. You nodded exhaustedly, staring at them from... from the ground before staring up at the stars. You heard your father scream until it suddenly stopped. He had given him a rough beating before stabbing a knife into his chest. Your eyelids become heavy. You think that's the first time you have ever heard Jungkook say he cares about you. You could hear the tapping of Jungkook's shoes approach you. Before he stood over your body looking down at you, he picked your weak limp body up off the ground and into his arms. The blood from your nose and mouth had spilled onto his suit. Oh, your suit, your weak and fragile voice spoke. This suit can be replaced by money. You can't, he whispered. You took the handkerchief from inside his suit and wiped the blood from your face. I wanted to die, you say blankly as a tear slipped down the side of your cheek. A look of fear washed over Jungkook's face as he listened to your words, yet watch every step he took. I thought you didn't want me, you said with a weak look. No, no, of course I want you. Jungkook shook his head while Chrisley probably wondering how you could even think that. I thought I would break you, Jungkook's eyes becoming glossy. You can't break what's already broken, you responded quietly leaning into him. He walked towards his limo carrying you in his arms. Why in? Jungkook muttered making you turn your head with the little energy you had left. Without any warning, he pressed his lips against yours and it all just made sense. His kiss was perfect better than you expected. You craved him, everything about him. You keep trying to convince yourself that he is not the one because who wants to love a ruthless killer? Yet he is the one. Your soul knows he is the one. Nobody can make you feel the way he does. Jungkook broke the kiss to take a breath. I wish I had done that sooner, he spoke trying to catch his breath. Me too, you lean against his chest. You should put me down, I can walk, you muttered confidently trying to sound as convincing as possible. No way, Jungkook stubbornly mumbled as he walked you over to the limo. What about Felix? You winced, trying to move in Jungkook's arm. I'll let him know I have you now and I'll take care of you. One of Jungkook's driver opened the limo door. Jungkook placed you in the limo, earning a wince from you. Sorry, he apologized before letting go of you cautiously like you was a baby. He climbed in and you rested your head on his lap. It was finally warm. Your dress. Jungkook traced his finger over the stains of blood with a concerned look on his face. It's okay. It's only a dress. You murmured to him. This is like deja vu. Jungkook stated, gazing down at you. Yeah, you shut your eyes. I remember sitting here trying not to let you make me happy. Jungkook admitted while drawing circles on the center of your palm. 
Don't do that. It's annoying. You put on a deep voice to mimic Jungkook, getting a cheeky smile from him in return. I actually thought it was really cute. He admitted with a grin, staring out of the window. What made you change your mind about telling me? You blinked at him curiously. I was miserable without you. Plus, seeing you with Felix, it drives me crazy. He shook his head. What? Why? You know why? He glared at you. I really don't. It's because he had his hands on my girl. I was supposed to be in his place. My hands on your waist as we danced, making you smile and laugh. I was supposed to be the one you wanted. Jungle glanced out the window lungingly. You are, you whispered softly, closing your eyes again. But he is your boyfriend, Jungkook sighed defeatedly. I know, you kept your eyes closed, not wanting to see Jungkook's expression. The universe keeps trying to keep us apart, Jungkook, tell it to stop. You whispered half asleep, trying to ignore the pain. No, it was me, but no more. He brushed your hair behind your ear. You want me? You whispered softly. Always was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. You woke up to see Jungkook sleeping next to you. It wasn't a dream. This was a rare moment. You have never really saw him asleep. You watched him for a moment only for him to mumble something and stir around in his sleep. He had little droplets on his forehead. You assume it was because it was too hot but it also weird because he didn't. He didn't look peaceful. A part of you wanted to wake him up. Jungkook, you poked his big muscular shoulder cautiously. He let out a snore, making you smile. He wasn't wearing a shirt, well he never does because he's usually always warm in bed and the shirt just doesn't help. You think he does it on purpose. As you was lost in thoughts, Jungkook shot up staring around the room frantically. You was freaking out watching him just scan the room vigorously for something. His eyes connected with yours. You are okay? It was only a dream. You tried to calm him down. He was really paranoid. You grabbed his face gently making him look at you. I have got you. You reassured him by his sweat dripped from his forehead and his chest, raised and fell for the first couple of seconds. It was beating fast but then it became slower. He shut his eyes letting out a sigh. Felix is probably here. Jungkook was breathed heavily, wiping the sweat off his forehead. You tried to get up but a sharp pain shot through your body like electricity. You winced in pain immediately catching Jungkook's attention. A crease appeared between your eyebrows as you tried to figure out what was wrong with you. Don't move, I'll bring him to you. Jungkook warned you groggily before standing up and brushing his long length hair back with his hand. Where's my shirt? He turned around and asked you. I don't know, I'm not your wife, you replied with a raised eyebrow. He muttered something before going through his drawer. Shit, you're in my bed. Your boyfriend won't be too happy about that. Jungkook clenched his teeth together as he ran through his thoughts. What he going to do about it? I have you to protect me. You smile cheekily. 
Don't do that. Jungkook pointed at you while looking through his dresser for a shirt. Don't do what? You stared at him innocently. He snapped his head towards you. That it makes me want to tear all of all your clothes. Jungkook rolled his eyes. You immediately stopped remembering that you wasn't a virgin anymore. He glanced over at you and saw your clearly worried face. What's wrong? He asked. Nothing. I'm fine. You shrugged, swallowing the lump in your throat. A part of you feared he did only want you for your virginity that you didn't even have anymore. You are kind of regretting that decision now, but you didn't think you would ever see him again. Jungkook slipped on a t-shirt and wandered out of the room. You slowly lay back down, hoping the painful sensation wouldn't run through your body again. Felix ran in, grabbing your attention immediately. Baby, you okay? Felix ran over to you, wrapping his arms around you. Baby, that's a new addition. You hesitated on hugging him back, but you did anyway. Nina came in. She knew straight away what your plans were, but didn't seem angry. How are you feeling? He stroked your cheek. You look around and saw Jungkook. Jungkook is standing at the door. You glance at him, who looked devastated. Better, you threw him a fake smile in return. Felix hugged you tightly, causing you to groan in pain. Jungkook explained what happened, and as much as I hate you being with him, I am glad he found you when he did. Felix kissed you, washing off the feeling of Jungkook's lips against yours. It didn't feel nearly the same. You glanced at Jungkook while kissing Felix, and Jungkook didn't dare to look at you both. A part of him knew he couldn't see you with another man. Felix, could you go get Ryan a glass of water, please? Nina asked him with a blank expression. How do you know she wants a drink? Felix snapped at his sister. She's right. I probably look like I need some water. You asked wishfully. Felix nodded before standing up and walking out. You go do something useful. Nina rolled her eyes at Jungkook. Jungkook just stared at you, wondering who this girl was. You signal him to go away, and he did. I know you are going to choose Jungkook, but does Jungkook know that? Because I know for sure Felix doesn't. Nina looks slightly dis- disappointed. He he's a good guy. You sigh, playing with your hands. Which one is it, Wyan? Nina raised her eyebrows. B- both. You responded, unsure. Let me show you how my mind is working. One could make me live. You try to look on the bright side, and the other could make me want to live. That's the difference. Just one for later could word change the whole meaning. You shook your head at your thoughts. Let me guess. Jungkook is the one. Nina smiled sympathetically, trying to be nice about the whole situation. Yeah, but he's also the need. He's the person I need to live. You admitted hesitantly to her. God, you have been with us for three weeks, and that is the only time I have ever saw you so sure of something. She shut her eyes before shaking her head with disbelief. You stared at the ground ashamed, but the way Jungkook looks at you isn't like how Felix looked at you. Nina admitted, reluctant to explain further. Felix looks at you with lust. Jungkook looks at you with love. There is a massive difference. Felix will get over you, but I don't think Jungkook ever will. Nina grabbed your hand. So it's okay if you do what you want for once, why? And choose yourself and stop worrying about everyone else. Because if I have learned anything about you over these past three weeks, it's been that you are not a selfish person. Nina squeezed your hand, reassuring you that everything will be all right. I'm back with the. We have to go. Nina interrupted him while she stood up, making this easier for you. Okay, Mayan, grab your stuff. 
Felix brushed his sister aside. Without Ryan, Nina sighed regretfully. Felix gave you a confused glance before realizing what was happening. I knew it wasn't a good idea to let you stay. Felix groaned angrily. You didn't see Jungkook around. You can't stop two people who are in love, Felix. You know that. Nina shook her head as she spoke with a gentle tone. Fine. Felix stormed out. He gave up surprisingly easy. You guess what we both had wasn't real after all. We are not in love. You threw Nina a concerned stare before she left. Okay, I agree, but only if you really believe that. She raised her eyebrows at you with a slight smile. Is this the last time I'll see you? You cushioned softly. Hopefully not. She grinned sorrowfully. She bid a goodbye and left after giving you a warm, friendly hug.